Hello, this is Anna Laura Brown with AnnaLauraBrown.com and in today's video I would like to share with you 10 simple emotional wellness activities that you can do to help improve your emotional wellness. Uh, a lot of us focus more and spend more time on our physical wellness, but the reality is that both our physical wellness and our emotional wellness are related. And if you have challenges with or don't have good proper emotional wellness, then your physical wellness will be affected by it. So it is really crucially important to take time for your emotional wellness as well as your physical wellness. And I might add that this is one of the reasons that I have named my YouTube channel Healthy and Happy Autoimmune rather than just healthy autoimmune is because I feel like everybody deserves to be happy and these simple emotional wellness activities can help to improve your emotional wellness which means you know improving your overall happiness okay so number one is to smell essential oils now this may seem a little bit crazy to some of you but I found that smelling things like lavender rose citrus oils that kind of thing can definitely impact on and have an impact on my mood and I think that, you know, even if you're a little bit skeptical, it's worth trying it. And I might also throw out there that if you live in the United States and are watching this, then I am more than happy to send you a couple of samples if you've never tried essential oils before. So I will include the link below in the description in this video and you can go ahead and reach out and let's get you to try some essential oils as part of your emotional wellness routine. Okay, number two is to pet a dog or to play with a dog or take a dog on a walk. Now obviously if you have a dog like I do, I have a schnoodle, which is a mixture between a schnauzer and a poodle a puppy currently as of the date of this video. She's just over four months and her name is Daisy and she's all black and she's really darling. Then you know that makes it really easy to do. But if you don't have a dog, try to see if there's some way you can get access to a dog, whether it's through a neighbor's dog, through a friend's or family's dog. Somehow, you know, be able to get a little bit of that dog therapy can be really good for your emotional wellness. And it's a fairly simple thing that you can do. Number three is to eat a piece of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate can actually really have a powerful effect on our healing and emotional wellness. And uh, when I say dark, I mean at least 70% raw cacao. So, you know, something that has more cacao than sugar in it and can really just have an overall good effect on us as long as you don't overdo it and you don't eat too much. Okay, number four is to spend some time in a garden. Gardening can be really super therapeutic for us. And this is another one of those things that if you don't actually have a garden, you can, you know, go explore a neighborhood garden, Go, some cities have a lot of really large gardens, like there's an area here in Salt Lake City called the Peace Gardens that is awesome, that has all these different gardens from different countries around the world. Super awesome. You know, just find a way to spend some time in some kind of a garden. Number five is to go for a walk. You know, walking can really help us not only improve our physical health, but it can help with our emotional health too, helping to clear our minds, that kind of thing. Number six is to watch a funny movie or TV show. So personally, we probably all have favorites with this. Personally, if I am struggling a little bit with my emotional wellness, I like to watch episodes of the TV show Mr. Ed. You know, classic funny TV show that actually was around even before I was born and was introduced to it later and I own a couple DVDs with the series and find it to be, you know, just really good day out of earth, really funny, classic movie and TV show, rather, and only takes about 30 minutes to watch one episode, so, you know, it's really great. Then number seven is to read some comics or another funny book or story. So in other words, just do something that will make you laugh. And this is interconnected with number eight is to tell some jokes. So, you know, just get tickle your funny bone, so to speak. Get out there, you know, activate your sense of humor. Okay, then number nine is to do some meditation. And this is one that is underestimated, but I feel like there's a lot more science even coming out now on the value of meditation. And there's a lot of different meditation apps that you can use. One that I was introduced to via Facebook when I reached out and asked people what meditation apps they used. It's called Insight Timer. And I have to say that I found this one to be really awesome. I haven't subscribed to the paid one yet, but I might eventually and it's really 
really awesome. It's, you know, even the free version gives you all different options. You can even meditate with sound bowls with it. All different kinds of things. Really highly recommend it. And obviously the best times for meditation are going to be either early in the morning as part of your morning routine or late at night as part of your sleeping, getting ready for bed routine. But sometimes, you know, if you're really having a stressful moment at work or in the middle of the day, it can benefit you to take a break and do some meditation as well. Then number 10 is to take a nice long bath. And you can affiliate, you can also put some essential oils in with the bath and combine this with number one or, you know, use some Epsom salts or bubble bath or other things like that. So, you know, I hope you found this helpful. I'd love it if you'd comment below and share with me what you feel like one of your favorite of these 10 emotional wellness activities are. And let me just summarize it as well because I feel like sometimes going back through can be really good. So number one, smell essential oils. Two, find a dog to pet, play with, take on a walk have you know some kind of dog exposure number three eat a piece of real dark chocolate number four spend time in a garden number five walk number six watch a funny movie or tv show number seven read some comics or another funny book or story number eight tell some jokes number nine do some meditation and number ten take some, take a nice long bath so I hope that you will try out the ones that you haven't tried already and share with me your experience. Take care, have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from you.